Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to, welcome back to my channel, with Mike Less 10 Shop and Garage. I am Mike. Okay, on the second day of the new year of old 23, hope everyone had a safe, great New Year's Eve and day. Let's get this year started off to a good, great, good, great start. And hope I get thumbs up. I hope you enjoy the video enough to subscribe. Thanks to all my subscribers, I'm gaining more. Thank you also very, very much. And you can Google at Maniacal S10. It'll take you to my channel, YouTube. I'll go to YouTube and type in the same, and you'll get me upload and all 107 as soon as I get this one uploaded, and you'll be able to view them. Now, a brief, hopefully, video on recap on the crossover water pipe on the retorque and I need to show you something give me just a second okay on the six bolts they vary a bit in length this piece right here my thumbs tapping on you need all six of these one on each bolt I have now found out that this helps keep the torque spec at 37 foot-pounds to spec so they don't loosen up which I had a problem with earlier because I missed putting one of these on and it started seeping so got these at the junkyard all six of them and with the what I call a, a lock sleeve and it may have a crush system to it that I don't know but we could call it a form of a lock washer or a type of liquid lock tight but this is a system that GM used for this for these bolts and you can take them all to the 37 foot pounds at one time but here's the torque sequence for them uh, of course you gotta disconnect the battery safety first here's the first one back up behind back behind underneath the alternator number one all three of these number two number three down here if you can see it down there barely see it and four up here in that sequence I'm just doing this just to be on the safe side retorque recap or to review if I'm not mistaken, I did this on a prior video, but just to make sure that I did, didn't leave it out, here you are. Okay, let's get this job done and see how it goes. Here's a setup you'll need. A torque wrench, of course, foot-pounds. It's a click torque wrench. A two-inch, half-inch extension and a 15-millimeter six point for tight spots and it's all fairly tight you use a six but i prefer a 12. and you got to take off see where was that at this upper pulley here which is an idler pulley which is right there to get to a bolt so let's do it and we're almost four minutes into this and hopefully i won't be in the way too much And here we go. Get a click. That's it. That's all for that one. Now for the alternator. Now these hardware bolts, other than the crosser water pipe bolt, you can just snug them up. You gotta feel your way back here now. 
Once you hook a thread, you know you got it. And this short bolt, stud should I say, and to this nut, which is only if you do all finger tight, connects the power steering lines here to the top of the stud so they don't vibrate too much. Use your eyes or use your fingers for your eyes. And we are connected. Try to stay up, try to keep my big noggin out of the picture here. It takes a bit of time, but it's all worth it. Everything's going good with it. I like going out of the box ever so often and do my own design and modification. It's the science of it. Not everything I do the first time works out, but nothing major has happened. Now when it comes to engine building and transmission to rear end, it all goes by spec and from that point on. Stuff like this that I do, little slip ups, don't hurt anything. But the science of it, you build something, you modify it, you drag race. Anything is guaranteed to break. You hope it don't. It always stinks or sucks when it does break. But the last thing you want to break is the motor. And this bolt, 15 mil. Just snug them down good. Just about got it. Okay. Now, we hook up my wires once I find them. So wherever that is going to be. Ah, here they are. This connection, I can barely see it, my thumb will roll around. That's the armature in the fields to the voltage regulator. Good to go. And that little bracket, power steering, all you can do is feel your way and do it. Bet you this spring or summer I'm going to do videos on how to clean up and blow the dust, road dirt out of the alternator. And we're now eight minutes, almost nine minutes into this. Doing good. Okay, now to finish retorquing, or should I say rechecking. The top to the bottom doesn't make any difference as long as you go in sequence. Good. Good. And good. That part, that area is done. Okay. Serpentine belt up onto the alternator. All right. And one, two, three. Bolts over here. Good. Good. I know I'm in the way. Yeah, 
<sighs> Hate it when that happens. Give me a sec. Click. Good. Got it. That's all it takes. And now to <clears throat> back off the torque wrench. Till it reads stop or you hit a stop. That saves the tension on the spring. That's all for that. Now, depending on how your setup is, on the back number one bolt, might need a longer half inch extension. Okay, now then, the belt back all into place, other than this pulley. Everything's good. Just like it should be. The newer Camaro, you heard. Alright. As I said, just snug it. Spin it. Snug it. Spin it. Snug it. That's aluminum thread, so you can't go too crazy. It's probably about the same at 37 foot pounds. All right. Now then, give me a second. I'm gonna try to use stay out of the way at the same time. Once we look at this. Okay, tension or pulley, bring it on down, get a hold of the belt, it don't fall off the other pulleys. I'm trying to make it to where you can see it too, keep myself out of it. Of course, I'm going to fall off. Not good. Yeah. Now, look to the alternator, and that should have it. I hope. It has a slip. My looks on it, we're good. Yeah, buddy. Connect up, back up your air mass airflow or mass sensor. Back right down in here. Rehook this. Okay, give me a sec. We're just over 13 minutes into this. So now you, whoops, let me get turned around off me. We're back together. We're looking good. There's a little solder uh, clip that I made to hold this up. Now we're pretty much all back together. Some of these tools, garage floor, don't throw the torque wrench. And I need that. And that can go. This can go. I know. Watch out your eyes starting to roll. I know. I go through it all the time. And this goes under to here. This bolt to there. Get her started. And we're pretty much good to go. And to get this clamp, tightened up. Now I don't use the clamp tight tool that I have, that you've seen in prior videos, for putting clamps on everywhere. Some areas, even with the stubby one, you can't get or can't adjust it. So, I use it when where I can. Just an FYI for you. Yep, we got it good to go. So now hook the battery up and start her up.
ground cable positive that should be good enough to, to connect it and I'll tighten her up a little later Let's give it one more overlook to make sure okay get Okay, give me just a second. See this right here? It's a little off, so I'm going to get to the tensioner, bring this back out to where you don't see the shiny part of the idler pulley, and we'll be good to start. So give me a sec. Okay. That's adjusted, as you see now. So, I say we're good to go. What do you think? Let's give it a whirl. All right. Compared to some of my videos, this is a short one. We're 16 minutes into this. Yeah, sorry about the traffic background, but it is what it is. Contact. There we go. Go we'll take a look see. Everything's looking good. Now I see where I slipped the pulley, so hold on. Hold on. We happen to have a pulley slip. And I don't think there's too much danger in this, so let's see what we got. I don't know how I missed that, but hold on. Okay. All's good, and get turned around here. And there we are. We're all good. So, peace out, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep the wrenches turning. Easy on the knuckles, and I'll see you on the next video. Tune in and see what we're going to get into then. Have a great one, everyone. Enjoy the day. It's 50-some degrees. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye.